from Indianapolis, Indiana. This is the Double Take Sports Talk Show with the Watch Brothers. And here they are, ladies and gentlemen, your host, Daryl and Darren Watts. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Double Take Sports Talk. Daryl here. Darren's on the opposite side. All right, so we got our predictions portions of our podcast. So, dear, whenever you're getting ready, the floor is yours. All right. Um, just to note one thing, there are no more bye weeks. That's it. Zippo, everybody is back. Um, Kansas City and the Los Angeles Rams was the final week, week 12 of bye weeks. Everybody is now back to work. Hashtag go to work. Hashtag go to work. got work to do. Hashtag check. Yeah. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get this bad boy started off with the Thursday night game. Only one, of course, last week was three due to Thanksgiving. Now that Thanksgiving is over, by the way, hopefully, hopefully everybody had a good holiday. I know I kind of did. I kind of did. But mm. I loved it. enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. Four days off, you couldn't beat that. You couldn't beat that. All right. First game, Thursday, November 29th, 2018, 8.20 on Fox. We had a 10-1 and New Orleans Saints going up against the 6-5. Dallas Cowboys. And, Daryl, just so you know, I have not done any – studies says a couple weeks ago. So just thought I'd throw it out there. Is that supposed to be some kind of bragging right? Because it ain't working. No. I just said oh. I haven't had the oh. time. I've been you, you know, I've been trying to catch up on other stuff that we have already had previously discussed. So I just have not had oh. the, the study. So I'm just throwing it I out. I haven't either. That's uh, not, that's I'm not just me. looking well, I'm just looking through my stuff now. I have to do it while we're on the run. That's what I'm doing. I'm doing it on the run. I'm doing it on the run. As obviously, as you can see, we sucked. Uh-oh. Well, every week that was. <laughs> we sucked week 11 last week. We both mm-hmm. did. We sucked. I sucked week, for me, week two, week five, week 11. For you, Week 11. I'm counting under 500. I'm not counting at or one game above. I'm counting anything under, and that's it. No, gotcha. And that's only week 11 for you. For me, I had three of them. Wow. Yep, two, five, and 11. That sounds like a lottery number. Okay. Try it when you're buying a lottery ticket. See I'm what not happens. buying no lottery ticket. <laughs> New Orleans Saints, Dallas Cowboys. Take a look at the previous three matches. Get both of these teams. The Saints took two of the last three, dating back to 2013. The Saints took that matchup in a blowout fashion, 29 to 17. Cowboys took the 2014 matchup in blowout style, 38 to 17. And then the Saints took the 2015 matchup, 26 to 20. Durham. I was afraid to say Packers. Saints, Cowboys, who you got? I got the New Orleans Saints. Why is this even up for conversation? No, ain't no way. Drew Brees, 29 touchdowns and two picks. I'm picking him. I'm picking him too. I ain't even got to pick the whole New Orleans Saints team. I just picked Drew Brees. I just picked Drew Brees. Boy, he's in, the boy is in his best. And, oh, he's, he's in his now. best. Yeah, he's in his best. All right, next game, Sunday, December 2nd, 2018. Man, we are already about to agree to hit the month of December. Wow. Mm-hmm. The 12th and final month of the year. Yeah. 1 o'clock on Fox, we had a 65 Baltimore Ravens going up against the 4 and 7 Atlanta Falcons. Take a look at the previous three matches against both of these teams. The Ravens took two of the last three, dating back to 20, 2013. The Ravens took the preseason matchup 27-13, and then they took the regular season matchup in 2014-29-7, and then the Falcons took the 2015 matchup 20-19. to Daryl, Ravens, Falcons, who you got? Hmm. 
I'm going to go ahead and blow this just out of proportion, and that's to say, I'm going to go ahead and, wow. I am going to pick the Ravens in this game. A part of me should have went ahead and printed this as a backup. Um, you said the Ravens? Mm-hmm. I agree. I'm going with the Ravens. All right, next game. One o'clock on Fox at the six and five Carolina Panthers. They sinking. Going up against the four and seven Tampa Bay Buccaneers. This is the NFC South division rival matchup. Take a look at the previous three matches against both of these teams. The Panthers took the last three. Think back to the second, no, the first matchup of 2017. The Panthers won 20, I'm sorry, 17 to three. And then they took the second matchup of 2017 season, uh, 22 to 19. And then this year, November 4th, 2018. The Panthers took the first matchup of this year, 42 to 28. This is their second and final meeting of the year. Daryl, Panthers, Buccaneers, who you got? This is going to be a tight one. I'm just going to throw it out there right now. I think this is going to be a decision decided by seven points or less. But at the end of it, I am going to choose the Panthers. Agreed. I'm going with the Panthers. Point, point, period. All right, next game, 1 o'clock on Fox. We had an 8-3 Chicago Bears. They're on fire. Going up against the 3-8 New York Giants. No, it is not. I agree. This is a rain alert game down in uh, MetLife Stadium in New Jersey, I believe it is. Uh, Take a look at the previous three matches against both of these teams. The Bears took two of the last three, dating back to 2012. The Bears won the preseason matchup 20-17, to and then they took the regular season matchup in 2013-27-21. Then the Giants took the 2016 regular season matchup uh, 22-16. Daryl, Bears, Giants, who you got? Picking the Bears. Check. I agree. I am going with the Bears. And that's interesting because the highs down there is supposed to get 61. Kind of odd for this time of the year. Just got we just got hit with 60 um, last sun, uh, Sunday. Yeah, while well, we stuck in snow. That's, what, that's what's driving me in my, you know. Behind. And we're supposed to get up in the high mid to high 50s. What is this? I'm telling you, this is this, this, shoot. This is not good. No. All right, next game, 1 o'clock on CBS. We had a 4-7 and seven Buffalo Bills going up against the 5-6 and six Miami Dolphins. This is an AFC East division rival battle. Take a look at the previous three matches against both of these teams. The Dolphins, no, I'm sorry, the Bills took two of the last three. Dating back to 2016, the Dolphins took that final matchup in 2016, 34-31. And then the Bills took the first matchup of 2017, 24 to 16, and then they also took the second matchup, 22 to 16. This is the Buffalo Bills and the Miami Miami Dolphins first matchup of the year. Wow. Daryl, Bills, Dolphins, who you got? I'm going to go ahead and pick the uh, Dolphins in this game. Yeah, I agree. I'm going with the Dolphins. And, and the only reason why I'm going with the Dolphins is because they look so strong against the Colts. The, the defense look like they want to show up. So I believe yeah. they have that advantage over Buffalo. Well, just like I said, they just had to play a full down in 60 minutes, and they didn't do that against the Colts. No, they did not. So that really that really changed the complexion because Colts really wanted that game. Yeah. Five, five, uh, five in a row for the Colts? Yeah, you can't beat that. Yeah. So. And which speaks. Next game, one o'clock on CBS. We have the six and five Indianapolis Colts going up against the three and eight Jacksonville Jaguars. Uh, take a look at the previous three matches against both of these teams. The Jaguars took two of the last three, dating back to 2017. The Jaguars took that first matchup of the season, 
27 to Zippo. And then they took the second regular season matchup, 30 to 10. And then the Colts took the first meeting of this year, 29 to 26. This is the Colts and the Jaguars' last regular season matchup. Daryl, Colts, Jaguars, who you got? Andrew Luck, 32 touchdowns, 11 picks. And no question, now I'm picking the Colts in this one. Check. I agree. I'm going with the Colts. It'd be my luck that they go down to Jacksonville and blow it. I know. That that would be my scary part. If they if the Colts actually do lose this game, I am not picking them for the rest of the season. Going for one of your bold predictions again, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it seems like it works every time, don't it? It just seems like I just get lucky. Yeah, you get lucky. Uh, damn, really? <laughs> oh, I, <wouldn't. laughs> I was actually focused on something else, so I was just agreeing because I wasn't paying attention. I got see. Um, um, let's just, all right. Wait, look, don't kill yourself. Don't kill yourself. Let's just say, Daryl, that you have your moments. Let's just say <laughs> I have bold moments. I'll put it like that. I have absolutely bold moments. You do. You have bold moments, obviously. <laughs> so this might, this might just turn this whole little matchup between me and you around. Don't even. We both agreed to pick that game anyway. It's not like that I had picked the Jaguars, which I want to do so bad. So you just tempted. You, you're really tempted to pick the Jaguars. I'm not picking them. Did you pick them last time? Who? You. Did you pick the Jaguars? Just the last matchup? matchup? Mm -hmm. They won by field goal. Jaguars did. I want to pick them so bad. I want to pick them so bad. Yeah. I picked the Jaguars. November 11th. I didn't pick them now. I picked the Colts this time. Again, I want to pick the Jaguars so bad. So you do. Yeah, I see. All righty. Here we go with the next game. Just one second. I'm sorry. I want to finish up the last of this because I want to stay on top of it because I know I can easily slip if I don't. And then the Colts. Here we go. All right. Next game. One o'clock on CBS. We have the we have the four, six, and one Cleveland Browns going up against the eight and three Houston Texans. Take a look at the previous three matches against both of these teams. The Texans took the last three, dating back to 2011. Texas won 30 to 12, and then they won in 2014, 23 to 7, and then they won in 2017, 33 to 17. Durham, Texans, Browns, who you got? I want to pick the Browns Me so badly. Too. Woo, I want to pick the Browns so badly. Me too, Daryl. But I don't know. I am just going to not take a chance on this. Oh, my gosh. Hold up. Hold up. Let, let me do this. Hang on. Oh, my goodness. Ooh, wee! Uh, you got something. Houston, I, I, we have a problem. Yeah, because I am thinking about Hugh Jackson leaving yeah. from Cleveland and that the Browns took a pick, picked up their first road win since 2015. So this is going into the second consecutive road game, and this is well, very well in their range. Yes. Uh, so I, I, I'm kind of thinking here that uh, Baker Mayfield might have an advantage over Deshaun Watson. I, I think so, too, because they both can scrabble. That's one thing. They yep. both can scrabble, and that's what makes both of these teams good on the run game. When they average in 136.5 yards per game, mm -hmm. uh, the Texas does, yeah. Cleveland is averaging 128.7 mm -hmm. yards per game. That's over 100 yards. So you're getting anywhere between 70 to 80 yards for every game that you have played in yeah. this in particular case. Maybe even 50. It just depends. As a team, that's just a matter of fact, as a team, you're getting over 100 almost every game, close to or at. So this is going to be one crazy one. But I don't know, Darren. 
I don't, I don't care. This is where I am going to do my bold prediction. I'm picking the Cleveland Browns. Me too, Daryl. I'm, I'm not even going to second guess it. I just, I, I, it, it, it just, I just think Cleveland got it, and I think Cleveland can can, can actually get to Texas their fourth loss of the season. Me so, too. Then Me again, too. They might surprise us and blow them out fifty nine to nothing. But then again, <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, your favorite number, ain't it? Fifty nine to nothing. Yeah. It is my favorite number because that's the most I've ever seen a team been blown out by what not the New England Patriots and the Tennessee Titans. Mm-hmm. Yep. Cheaters. Next game, one o'clock. Was it the Bears? No, it's the Titans. Okay. Yeah. It's the Titans. They was down in New England. Next game, one o'clock on CBS. We had a five and six different Broncos going up against the five and six Cincinnati Bengals. Take a look at the previous three matches. Get both of these teams. The Broncos took two of the last three. Going back to 2015, the Broncos won 20 to 17, and then won 2016 matchup 29 to 17, and then the Bengals won that matchup in 2017, 22 17. Dura, Broncos, Bengals. Who you got? Hmm. I am going to go ahead and oh, hmm. who did Denver just win against? Pittsburgh. Yes, off of a lucky uh, pick in the end zone. Lucky pick, okay. Yes, a lucky pick. Um, yeah. Even though I Pittsburgh agree. had no business losing that game. No, they, they, you're right. They didn't. They didn't. So, with that, I am just going to go ahead and just toss one out there. As a matter of fact, no, I'm not. I am going to go ahead and pick the uh, Bengals. Okay. First disagreement game. I'm going with the Denver Broncos on this game. Got to be honest. They're both five and six. You got to pick somebody. I'm picking the uh, Bengals. I'm sorry. Broncos. Yeah. That's all right. I can't argue you on that one because somebody's got to win. Unless they go into overtime and not win it. Mm-hmm. All right. Next game, 1 o'clock on Fox. We had a 10 and 1 Los Angeles Rams going up against the 4 and 7 Detroit Lions. No contest. This is Thank you. No. No contest. No. Take a look at the previous three matches because both of these teams, though, interestingly, the Lions took two of the last three, dating back to 20. Here's a crap. I'm sorry. <laughs> I did not mean to point that out. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> Date back to 2012. The Lions won that match of 27 to 23. And then the Rams took the 2015. Matter of fact, this was probably the St. Louis Rams then. Took this match up 21 to 14. And then the Lions took the 2016 match up 31 to 28. Durham, Rams, Lions. Who you got? I was going to cut you off, but I just decided to go ahead and just let her talk. I'm going to pick the Rams. Okay. That's fine with me. You could have cut me off because it wouldn't have mattered. I would have finished anyway. But <laughs> Actually, you could probably cut me off on this game. Well, not really. Wait a minute. Who you got? Did you pick who you? Yeah. Come on, dude. Really? Why are we even having this conversation? I'm picking the, Come on, mate. I'm picking the Rams. Kind of question. Well, we're recording, man. We need witnesses. I could sworn I said that I agree, and I'm picking the Lions. The Lions? See? <laughs> oh, woo. okay. All right. Next game, one o'clock on Fox. We had a two and nine Arizona Cardinals going up against the Ford six and one Green Bay Packers. I don't know about this one either. Well, Take a look at the previous three matches because both of the teams, the Cardinals took the last three, dating back to 2013. The Cardinals won that preseason matchup 17 to Zippo. The Cardinals won the 2015 matchup 38 to 8. Was Aaron Rodgers injured? He only scored eight points. He was playing. And then the Cardinals won the wild card, I want to say. Was it the wild card or the divisionals to the Green Bay Packers, 26 to 20? Durham, Cardinals, Packers, who you got? I love I love Aaron Rodgers dearly. But if it was my choice, this game could rot. Four, six, and one for Green Bay. I'm not feeling this. But I hope this is a bounce back game for Green Bay. I'm picking them.
I'm going. I'm going with the Cardinals. I don't blame you. That I don't blame you. And the only reason why I'm picking the Cardinals is because Mike McCarthy and Aaron Rodgers can't agree on play calling. I'm sticking it to uh, Arizona. I thought it was the offensive coordinator. It could be the offensive coordinator. It could be, but then again, who knows? But the only reason why I'm having a feeling that Green Bay going to win because they're at home, but that hasn't meant anything anyway. Okay, this game here, you can interrupt me, please, by all means, if you have to. Okay. Next game, 405 on CBS. We have a 9 and 2 Kansas City Chiefs going up against the 2 and 9 Oakland Raiders. This is an AFC West division battle rivalry. Take a look at the previous three matches against both of these teams. The Chiefs took. The- no need. Check. Who you got, Pilk? I Chief. got the Chiefs. Raiders. Who you got? Chiefs? I got the Chiefs, yeah. You know I'm agree with that one. Mm-mm. This ain't even no none. But take a look at the previous three matchups. Uh, the Chiefs took two of the last three, dating back to 2016. Their last matchup, the Chiefs won 21 to 13. The Raiders won their first matchup of the 2017 season, 31 to 30. And then the Chiefs won the second matchup of the 2017 season, 26 to 15. This is the Chiefs and the Raiders' first regular season matchup of 2018. Wow. Next game, 405 on CBS. We have the 3-8 and eight New York Jets going up against the 5-6 and six Tennessee Titans. Take a look at the previous three matchups against both of these teams. The Jets took the last three, dating back to 2014. Jets won 16-11. And then the Jets won again 2015, 30-8. And then the Jets won the regular, no, the preseason matchup, 17-3. Uh, Durham, Jets, Titans, who you got? I'm going with the Jets. Interesting. I'm going with the Titans. Well, Mike Vrabel needs to stop being an idiot when it comes to different situations of the game. I agree. And he has proven worthy of that. I agree. But I don't even know if this is even a game worth contending for. So it may not even be a close game, my personal um, opinion, on either side. It ain't um, going to be a close game, I can tell you that. All right, let's game. 425 on Fox. We had a 2-9 San Francisco 49ers going up against the 6-5 Seattle Seahawks. Check out the previous three matches against both of these teams. The Seahawks took the last three, dating back to 2017. Last year, the 2016-2017 season, the Seahawks won 25-23. And then the Seahawks took the first meeting of that matchup 12-9. And then they took the second matchup of the 2017, 2017 season, uh, 24-13. Uh, this is a NFC West division battle rivalry, and it is their first matchup of the 2018 season. Daryl, Niners, Seahawks, who you got? I got the Seahawks. Agreed. This actually, I think this game got flexed. Come look at it. I got the Seahawks in this game also. I believe they got flexed with the Charges and the Steelers. Because originally the 49ers and the Seahawks was a Sunday night game. If I'm correct. So I think they mm, got could be right. I think they got moved to prime time of 425 instead of Sunday night. I believe that's right. But then again, I could be wrong. I can do some quick studies on that real quick, but yeah, because yeah. the Jets, I mean, because the Vikings and the Patriots are still at four twenty-five, mm-hmm. and the Seahawks and the Forty ers are at was at the Sunday night slot according to my schedule, and they did not. They got moved up on the NFL schedule, so I think they are on they are on prime time, and then the Jets and the Steelers. I'm sorry, the Chargers and the Steelers took that over. Which speaks going into the next primetime game before the Sunday night game, 425 on Fox. We had a 6 4 1 minutes on the Vikings going up against the 8 and 3 New England Patriots. Take a look at the previous three matches against both of these teams. This is, man, far back. Uh, the Patriots took the last three, dating back to 2006. The Patriots won 31 7. And then four years later, the Patriots won again in 2010, 28 18. And then four years later, the Patriots win again in 2014, 32 7. This is a rain alert game. Daryl, Vikings, Patriots, who you got? Crap. 
Sorry. I got the uh, New England Patriots. Check. Yeah, one or two. Even though I don't want to, I really want to go with Minnesota. But New England's at home, and it's a good cheating scandal going on. So Absolutely. Bet to say, safe to say that it would be the New England Patriots. Absolutely. All right, next game, 8-20 on NBC. We had an 8-3 Los Angeles Chargers going up against the 7-3-1 Pittsburgh Steelers. Take a look at the previous three matches against both of these teams. The Steelers took two of the last three, dating back to 2009. Steelers won 38-28. And then in 2012, the then San Diego Chargers took that match up 34-24. And then in 2015, the Steelers won that matchup in 2015, 24-20. Daryl, Chargers, Steelers, who you got? Daryl with the Steelers. I got the Chargers. Hmm, interesting. Mm-hmm. I hope that this is a lesson learned for Ben Roethlisberger. But uh, Pittsburgh at home, I'm not. I, I'm feeling San Diego on the road, but I'm gonna have to go to Pittsburgh just because they're at home. Must be nice. Not really, because my gut's telling me to go with the Chargers. I'm going with it. I'm picking the Chargers. You picking the Chargers? Yes, I'm picking the Chargers. Let's see. Oh, oops. I made a mistake. I forgot to get back. All right, last game, Monday night, 8-15 on ESPN. We had the 6-5 Washington Redskins going up against the 5-6 Philadelphia Eagles. This is a NFC East division rivalry game. Take a look at the previous three matches against both of these teams. The Eagles took two of the last three, dating back to 2016. The Redskins won the final match of the, matchup of the 2016 season, 27 to 22. And then the Eagles won the first matchup of the 2017 season, 30 to 17. And they also took the second matchup of that year, 34 to 24. This is the Redskins and the Eagles' first matchup of the season. Daryl, Redskins, Eagles, who you got? The Philadelphia Eagles. Check. I'm not making that same mistake that I made last week since I learned about Alice Smith's injury. I am going with the Eagles. Now, don't get me wrong. Coach McCoy didn't play too bad last week. Not get me wrong. I know. Not at all. Clean it! <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen, that is your predictions for week 13 in the NFL. Ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, we will have the headlines part of our podcast. You don't want to miss that out. Stay tuned because that is next. <laughs> 